Welcome to our introductory session on Reports Wand. Reports Wand is a new product that we're releasing as part of GL Wand, it's a GL Wand add on. Um, it's for use with the Oracle e Business Suite. We think it's a very powerful addition to our suite and it allows um, a partnership between IT who would create um, queries as well as the end users who would, uh, who would modify um, and customize reports to, to their need. The first step to use Reports One is to log on to the Oracle eBusiness Suite using GL Wand. Once you've logged on, um, you can just check if you have it available, which is from version 4.0. The Reports One's functions are accessed from the Tools menu. Um, the first step, starting from scratch, is to insert a new definition. So these are a number of de definitions that have been created by um, our developer and made available to specific responsibilities um, and that is part of our security model. So I've just inserted a reports one criteria form and here um, in its simplest form a user can specify um, additional parameters such as um, the title, the type of report and where they would like to output the report to or um, that report can actually be run as is so I've just executed that report and it, it published it to the next available sheet. I can now control, um, I, can, I can insert uh, rows if I want so some blank lines at the top or insert columns. Um, I can customize the, the layouts of the report by changing the column widths. It's also possible to de delete columns if I don't want to see them. So I can, I can resize them, delete ones that, that I don't want. I can also hide columns. Hidden ones can be used by other uh, formula and functions. So there's a difference between hiding and deleting. And once I've got the report in the in, in the layouts I want, I can I can also customize um, the descriptions as well. So if I want to have my own uh, personalized column headings, I can do that. Those can also be specified by the developer as well as 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 aliases. Um, so another important uh, bit of flexibility is the ability to insert your own fields. So in this case I'm just going to put a function in here which really is going to check uh, whether my project name field is a numeric or a text but I could use any one of Excel's functions and there are a lot of available ones. So I'm just using the isNumber function to, to test that, um, that column. So I've copied and pasted that down, but when we re-execute this report, so reports one is going to take care of that. Um, it's also possible to put totals, or in this case I'm just using a count formula, below the grey line. That's the footer area, so as a user I've got, I can put whatever I want at the bottom there to summarize my data. I can also put summaries at the top as well if I like. So there's a lot of power here to, to uh, use uh, functions to do uh, statistical analysis or s summarization. Um, on, my, on your values. <coughs> you also have access to all the formatting of Excel. You can use conditional formatting, you can use um, a lot of, a lot of the, the power of Excel. So I re-executed that report and this time it's now republished uh, and it's using all that, that formatting. It's also copying my formulas down for me. So that's how easy it is and how powerful it is to, um, to, have a, to allow a user to extend and customize a report to to be presented in the format that they want. In terms of filtering uh, and applying additional parameters, we can also use operators like equals to greater than. In this case I'm filtering on all approved projects. So I've entered that. I'm also going to insert an order by field. I can have multiple order bars. So if you double click the header, it re-executes that. You can see it's sorted by organization. And just checking if it's fetched all the approved ones. Yes, it has. So my query has, has worked. To go back to the criteria sheet, I just click on um, the, 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 those uh, actual filters that were applied. It's hyperlinked, it takes me back here. And I can add another filter. The default is that it's filter 1 and filter 2 is applied. 
in this case the developer was kind enough to give me a list of values for this particular filter so I can use that or I can in this case I just want to use a contains so I added that I re-execute and now I've got all the project names that contain the letter S as well as ones that are approved all right the next thing we're going to take a look at is the using the run report function to initiate a reports one report so using the menu we can insert a function it requires a number of parameters some optional uh, a required parameter is which actual query are we going to use and that we use the report ID uh, we can optionally speci specify a title um, in terms of the report to location I'm going to use um, B6 which is the top left hand corner of this defined report I then need to specify some of the um, if there's a parameter that's been defined for this report I need that in this case there isn't one so I want to um, put a, f a filter um, I want to run this report for any projects that have a name and whatever I enter in cell D2 I want to filter on that particular field so I'm just using Excel functionality to build that I can also optionally control what is displayed in that in that formula if I if I if I take the standards it's going to show me reports one pending but I'd rather give something a bit more meaningful in that cell so I use the result field and operator parameters to control that so in terms of the operator I'm going to use a special term called value um, that will <coughs> mean that it should display the value that's contained in the result field in this case I'm using text but I could just as well have had a, a link or a formula in there to derive that name so now I want report one to filter on name contains a and I'm just gonna make it blue and hop and make it look like a hyperlink so users will know to click on that and as you can see it's now filtering on project name contains ABC so it's as easy as that to start to developing and and customizing how your actual reports work so just um, building on that I can I'm going to put another query see I just used Excel copy and paste to to reuse some of the logic that I'd that I'd learned or that I'd created on the first one so I'm just modifying um, the second run report function and this time I'm looking to filter it on status um, equals to whatever I enter into into cell D3 um, I can also optionally make D3 a list of values using Excel uh, functionality so in this case I'm just typing in the word approved and if I've got that right I see I've got a message coming back saying no data and that is because I had a mistake with the field name and as you can see there's a hidden row that has the actual Oracle field names in that so I've just unhit that row um, I'm gonna see I see I used the word project I actually need to use project status code um, in my query so I can just come and edit that quickly so instead of status the field name should have been project status code so I change that and hopefully it's all good to go now there we go so it returned me all the approved projects so now I've copied that formula and I'm going to um, use now an advanced option which is to filter on um, one or on two um, the D for, uh, for that we use the advanced uh, option which is one or two and there you can do one and two or three and you, you've got quite a lot of control about um, parameters and how they should be applied. Another thing